It's Thursday, and that means it's time for another edition of Ask Ellen. And it is very fitting given the switch that we have seen back and forth between rain and snow. Mark wants to know how do the different types of precipitation form? People often assume that whatever is made in the cloud will fall to the ground. That's not usually the case in the wintertime. Usually we have at least one phase change. Rain in the wintertime, for example, typically starts as snow. This is because it's so cold at cloud level in the wintertime that it's all snow inside the clouds. But we'll see rain when that snow falls and encounters a huge layer of warm air, and then that snow will hit the ground as rain. Well, what about freezing rain? Same sort of setup. It starts as snow. It will run into a warm layer and melt, turning it into rain. But right before it hits the surface, you'll see a really shallow area of cold air. This is below freezing air, temperatures in the upper 20s, for example. So on the way down, that snowflake will turn into rain and then flash freeze at the surface. If that layer of cold air at the surface is a little thicker, then we see sleet. Sleet looks like little ice shards. Basically what's happening is the snow melts and then refreezes because there's so much cold air between the middle of the atmosphere and the ground that it gives the raindrops time to turn into ice shards. All right, lastly, the easy one, snow. With snow, it starts at cloud level as snow, it falls as snow, and it hits the ground as snow. All right, and if you have a weather question for Ellen, let us know. You can send an email to the 7 at woodtv.com. That's amazing. Yeah, Those and I always love all incredible. the different, the augmented reality is neat. Yeah. I think it lends itself well to explaining, so keep those questions coming. Yeah, we'll see you tonight, 10 and 11. <laughs>